When starting a new document in SolidWorks, it's usually required to change a few of the preset parameters so that you can start your design. In this video, I'll show you how to make a custom template that will streamline the process and save you time. To start a new document, you're prompted to choose one of these options. If your interface appears like this, then hit the Advanced button to change it. This interface is designed for new users, and I will explain the advantages for using this interface here. Let's start a new part document. Here we'll check some of the parameters by going into the document properties. One of the common parameters that needs to be changed is the overall drafting standard. Here it is currently set to ANSI. Another one of the common parameters that needs to be changed are units. Mine have already been set to inch, pounds, and seconds. I can also select the dual dimensioning units. You can also change any other parameters that appear here under the Document Properties tab. These will be saved in your template. I'll hit OK. Once you've changed any parameters, we now need to save a template. To save a template, go to the File pull-down menu, Choose Save As. Change the Save As type to Part Template and give it a meaningful name. I'll name this Part Inch. The location in which it saves is important also. I'll explain that later. I'll hit Save. I can now close down this part and start a new part. Being in this interface, you now see the advantage is now I have multiple part templates that are in here. The original part template that was created with, by SolidWorks and the custom template that I've made. If I open up this template and start a new part, all the parameters that I've saved are saved within this part template. The same can also be done for assemblies. If I open up this assembly template, I can go into the part document, check some of the parameters such as units, make sure they're set correctly, and hit OK. To save an assembly template, it's much as the same process. Go to the File pull-down menu, choose Save As, change the Save As type to Assembly Template, and give it a meaningful name. I can now close down this document and start a new document. You'll see here that I now have the part inch the default part, my new assembly inch, and then the default assembly template. If you'd like to remove some of these default assembly templates or part templates, you can simply go into Windows Explorer and delete them. The file location which they're in can be found under File Locations when you go to Document Templates. My document templates are currently saved in this path here. If I browse to that location in Windows Explorer, you'll see what the current files are. The default assembly template I can simply delete. I can also delete the part template. Now when I start a new part in SolidWorks, I'll only be prompted to start from one of the templates that I've created. You can create as many part, assembly, or drawing templates that you'd like. It's also a good idea that once you've made custom templates, to save these in a backup location.